well-known steady decline in the past couple of years. Some believe it's because of the seemingly over-excessive standardized testing or the growing population of economically disadvantaged students. Others believe it to be a product of budget cuts and funding problems in the Texas legislature. I believe it to be a little bit of all three. Texas makes up about 10% of the U.S. population today. 10% is a lot of people. A lot of people that can make an impact on this country. The citizens of this country, with all of our freedoms and opportunities, should take advantage of what we have and become better. Not throw it all away by prioritizing other things before our kids' education. According to the Save Texas Schools organization, Texas ranks 47th out of 50 states in SAT scores, 46th in reading proficiency, and dead last in people over the age of 25 with high school diplomas. Dead last. Do you realize that that puts us in one of the biggest but dumbest states in America? So not only are we affecting Texas by being dumb, but we're affecting the whole U.S. Abraham Lincoln once said, the philosophy of a schoolroom in one generation is the philosophy of government in the next. Abe Lincoln was an honest, very intelligent, and highly respected <coughs> man. If anyone knew how to become successful, it was him. In 2011, the Texas legislature chopped billions of dollars from school funding. The Texas legislature claims they didn't have anywhere else to cut the money. Well, this means lower, a lower paycheck for our wonderful teachers, less extracurricular activities for our well-deserving students, and, but most of all, it's causing schools all over Texas to close down. When schools close, people have to move to new areas, and when people have to move to new areas, they obviously have to sell their homes. When they have to sell their homes, it becomes a problem because no one will buy a home where there's no school in the community. That area becomes vacant and there's a drop of civic engagement all over that community. As you can see in this chart, the Texas ranks second to last in teachers' salary pay all over the United States. Teachers are needed for us to gain our education. I don't think anyone realizes that the future of our country rests in the hands of our children today. Our future rocket scientists, our future law enforcement officers and lawyers, our future doctors and surgeons, our future leaders. Do you really want to be giving 10% of that future an unfair disadvantage? If I'm not mistaken, the American dream is to become independent and strive to be better. How can we do that with these unnecessary restrictions we're putting on ourselves? People of Texas don't need to be <coughs> lowest in academics. What we need is to come together, fix our problems, and make ourselves the best we can be. We should have ambition and strive to be greater. We should have the audacity to overcome our fears and become the best of our abilities. We should make a difference in this world. We can make a difference in this world. But it all starts with our foundation and education.